Hey guys! Um, uh, good news! Um, people at my, at the 8th grade teacher island, which is where I sit, we're going on a trip, yay! Um, to an onsen, which will be fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's going to be the same weekend as Mimi Udon with one of my elementary schools. And I was like, geez, guys, I mean, we've gone like months without having a event at this school. And now you're going to schedule something when I have something scheduled? Like, dick move. Dick move, guys. But, I mean, it's like a weekend trip. So, unfortunately, even though my elementary school asked me first, and I definitely do want to go to Mimi Udon, I want to go to an onsen more. It's down in Nagano, so that's going to be fun. Um, <sighs> okay, so ninth graders are getting really bold. They are like a month away from graduation at this point. I think they graduate on the 9th of March. And they are getting bold. Um, this happened last year, too. If you remember, I would talk a lot about like how the, the kids would like... You know... <laughs> sexually harass me. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. But basically they're just like asking for dates and blowing kisses and being very flirtatious. And they weren't like this a couple of weeks ago, but I think they're kind of like, oh, I've got a month left of school. I'm going to be silly. And this is my way of being silly. Derp. So that's what they're doing. Um, today they had to do a thing where they had to choose something in the room, or not in the room, just something in general, and they had to describe it um, in English, of course. And uh, one of the groups chose me, and they described me in their broken English, and I was like, this is really awkward. <laughs> really awkward kids. I mean, it was cute. It was really nice. You know, they wrote, like, huge eyes, and, like, wears purple, and I'm like, oh, I guess I do wear a lot of purple and like just white white face you very 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 beautiful and I'm like oh that's so sweet but no <laughs> they're adorable I mean they're just being silly um also I started conversation tests with the eighth graders if you remember I talked about doing conversation tests with the ninth graders last week. So this week I'm doing with the eighth graders. And um, I, I asked the same question, what do you want to do for spring vacation? And, you know, I don't, I ask them pretty much the same questions as the ninth graders, except I don't expect so much from them. So while a ninth grader might get a B, the an eighth grader would get an A for a the same content because they're obviously they have a year less of English experience. One of the kids I said, What do you want to do for spring vacation? And he was like, Oh, I want to stay home. And I'm like, Oh, really? What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to sleep. Oh, you're going to sleep. Just you're going to stay by yourself in your house and sleep. And he's like, Yes. I'm like, Well, will you hang out with your family? And he was like, No. And I said, Why? And he's like, I don't like my family. <laughs> he was a riot. He was very funny. A little tragic, but funny. And then I, I'm like, are you going to study? And he's like, nope. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so it was cute. Um, oh, and today was Wednesday, so it was a half day. Yay! So I only had three classes. And I think I noticed something. Um, I don't know if this is Mm, I don't know if this is like only the people at my school or Japanese people in general, but I feel like if a conversation is happening in English, they don't really consider it a real conversation. So if I'm talking with a teacher in English, then I find I get interrupted a lot. Like a, a third teacher will come over and just start speaking in Japanese to the English teacher that I was speaking to. And it wasn't as if this has only happened once, but this happens like all the time. And they'll like come over and just talk about anything. 
and I'm like, oh, all right, I was totally in the middle of something, but that's cool too. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. <laughs> and I, I've noticed that I get interrupted a lot. I'm like, oh, this just must be a Japanese thing. But then I started to think, well, maybe, maybe it's that it doesn't like process, and then that there is a conversation occurring because it's like foreign noises. I don't know. I can't be sure. Um, of course I can't be sure, and I definitely won't say all Japanese people do that, because it's only something I've noticed at my junior high school. So, maybe just the people at my junior high school do it. <laughs> oh, so tragic. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow, these two elementary, well, not two elementary schools. Tomorrow's Thursday, elementary school. Then the day after is Friday elementary school, and I, the uh, Mimi Udon is with the Friday elementary school, so I'll have to explain to them that I can't come to Mimi Udon next weekend, which I'm sad about. I didn't really want to go. I had a lot of fun last year, you know, because, like, moms are there, and all the kids are there, and we're cooking, and then you get to eat it, and it's delish, but I want to go to Nagano. <laughs>